All right. Will he date a cheating gold digger with a high body count? U D. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I hooked up with like my friend's boyfriend. Who did you? Technically, it would be. Who is more willing to put up with oh. red flags in a relationship, men or women? What if I tell you that like I cheated before? <laughs> it's not my business. Right. Oh. It's only because she was so possessive though. For sure. Today, we're gonna put it to the test and find out. We're gonna start off with the boys. This is Giselle right over here. She is playing our charming uh. walking red flag. Giselle will be speed dating three guys. During the speed of date, her job is to come off as a cheating, lying, manipulative gold digger, AKA okay. a huge red flag. At the end of the date, okay. each guy will be asked if they consider Giselle wifey material. Will the boys be able to look Ooh. past her beauty or will they be willing to pursue a relationship with her despite her red flags? And you definitely don't want to miss the reverse version of this when Ventario plays our walking red flag. The results are very shocking, or at least not what I was expecting. Got this piece of paper, write down yes or no. All right, bro, I'm going to say it right now, dog. I'm not about to date a red flag, dog. That shit don't, that shit just going to stress you the fuck out. Consider Ventario has been a material. Who do you think is willing? You're not going to date them. Keyword, date them. It's gonna be it's stressed the fuck out. More. Guys or girls? That's oh. a tough one. I want to say girls are. But more... but some niggas like that shit though. Some niggas like that shit. As for females, some of them like that shit. That's that's how they like it, bro. Girls like, are more willing. Me to personally, uh-uh, bro. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna find. I'm you. trying to be get a headache, stressed out. Hello. Hi, I'm Giselle. I'm TC. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All guys and girls in this test were simply told that they would be on a speed date. They had no idea of our ongoing experiment. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking for in love? I think right now, just like kind of casual, really open to anything. I'm not looking for anything like specific, but yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm looking for like more like on the business side or like business side. But what, what do you mean? Is that me? Going on dates whenever like we're not so busy and stuff. More like a business person. So you think a relationship should be like a business? Yeah, like like a business. Like we just grow, you know? Like OnlyFans business? Like a OnlyFans business? No. <laughs> not at all. I... So very like transactional, you think? Yeah. Like you gotta have a career, like something you love besides OnlyFans. So you're like a 50-50 kind of guy? Yeah. What's like your okay. kind of girl or like the way he worded that shit, I ain't never heard a word like that before. What's your type? I get My what he's trying to say, though. Is you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the type of girl you're looking for right now, like, what do you want her to bring to the table? I don't really care about looks, because a lot of girls, like, have BBLs and stuff. And, like, <laughs> so what do you like to do, okay. like, daily? Um, I like to go out, have fun with my friends. I like clubbing a lot. How about you? I film, like, every day with my friends. Like, make content and stuff just for fun. And What kind of, like, uh -huh. content do you make? Casual content, like... How many followers do you have? Do you have... How many, like, followers do you guys have? I don't really care about followers. I got, like, 15,000 followers. Oh, wow. So you must make a lot of money, then. Hmm. I mean, I feel like that still makes, like, a lot of money. Like, you must make a lot of money, right? Not a lot of money, but I do make money. I like your shoes. Oh, thank you. I like yours, too. Oh, thanks. My ex... Wait, she's supposed to be a red flag. Oh. <laughs> I hate to be on my ex, but I got a lot of... I was about to say, she's supposed to be a red flag that she dropped that line. I'm the type of person to just give you flowers. Flowers die, though. If we were dating, would you get me, like, a purse? I bought my ex... I like that, bro. She's speaking facts. I hate buying flowers if you just gonna let them fucking die. That shit's a big waste of fucking money, bro. You spending fucking 20 plus dollars on some flowers just for them fucking shits to die in a week. Cause the niggas don't water. But I regret it. So oh so. my God. I would like a car. A car is a great gift. I would appreciate a car. Yeah, but. I would never leave you if you got me. It's expensive, you know, so. What kind of car was it? A yellow Camaro. Oh, yeah. that's nice. I would like a Mercedes. I'm definitely a, like a Mercedes girl. If you ever want to get me a car, like keep that in mind. <laughs> oh What's shit. What's the craziest thing you guys have done? Me call a girl a bitch. <laughs> That's it? Fuck you, bitch. Damn. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. I hooked up with my friend's boyfriend. That should just be slipping out sometimes. Real niggas I know. I mean, I like cheated on someone once. Yeah, they don't mean they it. They deserved it, so that was like... But that's like normal in a relationship, though. So. You think that's normal in a relationship? Not like normal, but like nowadays, you know? The new generation. Yeah, I hooked up with like my friend's boyfriend because he liked me more, and then it was a mess. It gets messy, but it's part of life, you know? Yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on body count? To be honest with you, the past is the past. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really care. Honestly, I stopped counting past. after like 50, but... You have 50 bodies? That I remember. Ooh. 
How many do you have? Uh, not the best oh, one, the best, six. nigga. Oh. The past was the past, nigga. What you talking but about? The past oh. was the past. But the past but, is the past. You just said You can't say that shit now. Damn, I was not expecting 50. Was like, the past fuck. is the past, nigga. Fuck out of here. You okay. can't say that In shit. LA, like, come on. Stuff happens. Wait, so how old are you? I'm 24. Yeah. How old are you? 24. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll reach like the double digits by 25. <laughs> I'm looking for like more like a wifey material. Oh. Yeah. I think like as long as you're not like in contact with the people you hooked up with, like yeah, it's exes, like, you know, not it happened exes. in the past. I only talked to like one of my exes. I only talked to like one of my exes, but he's more like a brother to me now. Damn. <laughs> That's right. a big red flag <laughs> about that guy. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. How about you? Are you still in contact no. with any? No. D and D phone number changed everything. You know. Mm -hmm. And I just try to just move on with life. What are your thoughts on cheating? On cheating, I think well, like you said, that was normal, right? It's it's normal in mm -hmm. a relationship, but like, why are you want to cheat? Probably because like the other person isn't fulfilling you. Yeah, but, it's but like you, you, can just say you that. have to just say that, you know. If you don't yeah. say it, and then you cheat. It's like okay, like she's yeah. a hoe. I mean, I've only cheated like when they've Facts. made me cheat. I will. It wasn't a big thing to me. How's like your like relationship like with your family? My family loves me. They they watch everything I do on social media. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't really talk to. Well, I only really talk to my brother, but my parents cut me off. Oh. Yeah, because they found out I was doing OnlyFans for a bit, and they like lost. Oh, it. so you one of those? Is that a problem? You one of those? No, but I didn't know you was doing OnlyFans, but you you kind of. You one of those. I was though. I, not anymore. But I did get like a sugar daddy. Like, he's so sweet. Oh, that nigga like, not, so 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 not fucking with it. That nigga not fucking with it. Straightforward. He's not fucking with it. That's the thing. Like, um. Look, that nigga's lost. He's not fucking with it. He's not like fucking with it. Uh, yeah, I do. What is your favorite food to cook? I like making enchiladas. Oh, that sounds yeah. bomb. I cook a lot of Mexican food because I'm Mexican. So yeah. like chilaquiles, enchiladas, those are kind of like my main things. You into horoscopes? I am, yeah. What month are you born? In June. I'm a Gemini. Oh. What are you? I'm a Scorpio. This thing is said it all makes sense now. Look at so, his face. So do you check like if you're like compatible? Like. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Andrew, ask him when's the last time they hooked up with someone. So do you guys like having fun? When was the last time you guys hooked up with someone? Like me, recently? Like, nah. I've been working a lot. I haven't done anything. Mine was this past weekend. Okay, that's the date. We're gonna get you guys final thoughts. Okay. Cool. That nigga's not fucking with it. Is, she's like okay. honest, straightforward person. She's not like BBL, big booty bitch. She's not none of that. She's mm -hmm. a normal person. <laughs> Actually, there's a red flag. It's a red flag, okay. Is she still gonna be doing OnlyFans? It was bugging me a little bit. I knew that was gonna be the one that got him. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that, besides the OnlyFans, that you consider like a red flag? No. That was the only red flag, so the rest is all good? Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, well, on this piece of paper, write yes or no if you- This is why niggas get played, because they don't see the red flags. Don't think they a red flag and they go and mess with it. And then that red flag, that was a red flag that they didn't think was a red flag. It ends up being a red flag. And then they end up not being with the bitch no more. Or excuse me, the female anymore. You can see yourself. Oh, brother. Is she? Why you gotta be able to see. Oh my god. She told me that she had 50 bodies and stuff like, you know, that's respectable. I did not expect that. I thought at least like the cheating or like hooking up with your friend's boyfriend. Like She said her ex is like a brother to her. Bro, no, 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 there no. There were so many. No. Is that like wife material? No, Could you see no. yourself married to her? Yeah, but, but she just got to forget about the past. Oh, I guess. Bro, you... See, and this, this is the problem. This is why niggas get played. You're talking about forget about the fucking past. I get, all right, there's some things you're right. Some things you can forget about the past. Some people change, blah, blah, blah. But in this generation, you can't, it's hard to forget about the past because you don't fucking change. Guys are pretty understanding. She probably put no. Understanding. That's, that's gonna be embarrassing. Nigga never got her heart broke. O. All those red flags. Nigga never got her heart broke. Green to TC. Let's see how they look to Clinton though. By the way, we did complain to every guy. Stick around to the end to see that reveal. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. 
How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. What like brought you here today? I just wanted to find the love of my life. Maybe that's you. I've been looking for love in all the wrong places. Not the best dating history? No. LA's been a, a challenge for me. Yeah. The boys are just looking for love and we're over here breaking their hearts. Uh, what do you like to do? I like to travel. I am a world traveler, I would say. I've been to Greece. Tell them guys have flown me out. I really like to travel too. I mean, I get like flown out a lot. So. Oh, so you get flown out. <laughs> what are you like looking uh, for in a girl? Somebody who's respectful, somebody who's supportive. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm a musician, oh, cool. so it's like... It seems like you're more like looking for like a serious kind I'm of... I'm looking for something serious. Something serious. Mm -hmm. I want to be married. I'm from the South. I'm very old school. Oh, I'm very okay. traditional. So when I come to LA, everybody's like, oh, like, how much money do you have? <laughs> can, you, can you fly <laughs> well, me out? I don't think say it like that. Well, how much money do you make? <laughs> I'm making oh. a... I'm not a millionaire. But mm -hmm. I got enough, you know, to build something. I mean, I like you, like your accessories, your watch glasses. Thank you. I like yours too. Thank I like you. yours too. You, you got good taste. For the most part, I just like to be able to like enjoy your company because quality mm. time. That's my number one love language. When people wear glasses like that, you think that's really glasses for seeing, or you think they just glasses or props? Like you think you can see without them glasses? Let like, me know. Mine is like because I don't. So getting oh. flued out. I feel like you can see what happened. <laughs> you want the Chanel bag. You they like the diamond macaroni necklace. <laughs> Diamond macaroni. And then you said you're a musician, so like, how many? Like, yeah, what's like I your do. following kind of? I don't, I don't, as far as following goes, I don't, I don't know. Are so. you on like social media a lot, or like? Yeah, 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 I have a decent following. Yeah, I have like a few thousand, but it's like really powerful people that follow me. <laughs> but you look very like well put right. together. Thank you. What kind of um, what kind of car do you have? I have an Infinity. Nice, nice. So you asked me some questions, but I feel like I'm like Infinity. you. Do you like sports? I played like a little bit in like high school. I was like in cheer. That's cool. And I noticed that you have a lot of natural beauty. There's like not a lot of makeup going on or anything oh, like thanks. that. You have very beautiful yeah, eyes. You. you don't think so? <laughs> very strong facial bone structure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. So for this segment, we're going to talk about I see all the makeup. What's he talking about? Okay. Ladies first. They all start off pretty Maybe good. I don't know what I'm talking about. Always kind of ends like not the best way for some reason. My most recent boyfriend, we were kind of like together for a year and a half, I want to say. Yeah. But I still like going out with my friends. And then one of the times I did go out, I was with someone else. Oh, yeah. But like that was... A little treacherous. It's yeah, okay. just a little bit. Like I was going to tell him, but then like he looked through my phone before I got the chance to. And like, I was like, well, I was going to break up with you anyway. Cheater, yeah. duly noted. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I want to be intentional in a relationship. So if that's not good enough for my partner, then they can go. Mm -hmm. My most recent relationship. I was gonna tell him like before what else. Vibes a little bit, mm -hmm. but she would. She was like a liar, mm -hmm. and that is like my biggest thing. I don't like liars. Mm -hmm. She just showed herself to be untrustworthy, and it didn't work out because of that. You see, like at least like when I cheated, like I told I was gonna tell him. So you and did cheat. Technically, it would be, but like I told him, and I was honest about it. Like I was. So you know what they say about cheaters, right? Yeah, they, they don't change, but... Once a cheater, point, always we, like, a cheater. Any loyalty. Damn. I've told people, and they're like, oh, like, you're definitely a cheater. I mean, you know, I don't mind growing. Hmm. When you go to the gym, nobody likes that. Like, that hurts, right? <laughs> you trying to try a little too hard, your relationships dog. relationships with your friends and family? I like to think that I have very good discernment when I'm talking to people. I feel like I, I can know you in five minutes. I know who my real friends are and then I know who like okay. my party friends are and like I did have like a friend. I kind of like, well he did her dirty Yeah, oh, so you hooked up with Yeah, and then like she found out and was like, you betrayed me and I was like, don't lose a friend over like a boy, you know? Oh. Okay, that's the end of the day. We're gonna get you guys some oh. thoughts. Okay, all right, lovely talking to you again. Yeah, likewise. She's very pretty, so, mm. you know, everybody in LA is pretty, right? So that doesn't really move me is as that much. True? But she definitely said some things that Ray, that, that was a couple red flags. <laughs> there was some some things that were like, definitely like, yo, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, so okay. on this piece of paper, write yes or no, if you yes. can see yourself pursuing a relationship with her, is she wife material? Okay. So at least you don't have to think about it that much. What the fuck is he writing? What is he writing? He said yeah, yes or no. More than three words or <laughs> two letters. Let's just say hell no or hell yes. Okay. Dun dun dun. Absolutely. <laughs> 
based on what Let me hear it. I've heard, she has Let a lot of depth to her, like I said. Honestly, I, I'm very confused right now because I thought Let they me were going to say though. No. If a guy told you that he cheated, would you put up with it? I would not even care what his excuse was. I'd be like, no, yeah, I'm not ever dating a cheater. She shows some flaws and like we're all human beings and like we all are flawed. It made me feel like I could trust her. And with that. See, these niggas just haven't gotten their heart broken enough. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. Like, he trying to, he willing to give it a shot. He thinks she down, so he down, that sort of thing. So, obviously, he wants to give it a shot. But these niggas ain't get their heart broken enough times to know this, this, oh, this is the red flag. It ain't going to change because I messed with it. This is a red flag. It ain't going to change because I've been there. That's why I think they're saying yes. At two boys down, one to That's go. That's what I think. If there was anyone that was going to reject this cheating, lying, manipulative bull digger, it was going to be my boy Elias. Elias has no idea what is going on. He literally just believes that he is here for a blind date. Another find you a match type thing. Because we're going on a date and you guys are just here. Just imagine I'm not here. Just imagine I'm not here. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Hi, my name's Giselle. What's your name? Come on, Elias. Bring it home for the boys. They set you mm. up on this whole blind date thing? Yeah, they did. So, like, why why are you doing this? My past relationships haven't worked out that well, so... So, what's your, like, usual type? Say, like, tall guys? I would say, like, tall guys, usually. All my exes are, like, six feet. I'm, but... like, six feet on a good day, so... Okay. On a good, on a good day. Okay. day. Ask him how many followers he has on social media. Um, so how much followers do you have on social media? Um, you know, it's I'm working on it, but it's getting up there. Okay. Are you, like, a person that's, like, mainly based... If somebody asks me that question, I'm gonna tell him straight up, dog. 200 what of it fuck what you gonna look at me like oh why is that a question it's on follower count it depends fuck? if you don't have a lot of followers it's okay if you're like over six feet if you're under six feet yeah, yeah. it's like okay like 10k at least well you know, I, like i said i'm six foot on a good day Crazy. You know, so do you make a lot of money like off of like uh, i mean sure you could say that is it like enough to like support yourself yeah it's been pretty good would you say it's enough to like support someone else as well it depends on who that person is start acting like a gold digger like what kind of lifestyle can you afford do you think i could afford oh. a comfortable lifestyle for myself right now okay like you can still get a bottle service table or like a trip depends on who i'm with but if they're worth it then yeah interesting mm -hmm. i think i do have like a higher financial situation i like luxury stuff I take care of myself pretty good, and if not, like, other people take care of me. The guys I go out with maintain me. What does that mean, exactly? Just, like, pay my bills or, like, mm. buy me, like, what I want. So, so it sounds like you have maybe some sugar daddies or... <laughs> it's just, like, more, like, if we're not really vibing, like, do a little extra effort in terms of, like, buying me things. But if we're, like, a super cool vibe and we actually like so, each other, like, you don't have to yeah, do all that. Yeah, so in that yeah. regard, somebody can technically buy your love. You just said that if they buy you things, <laughs> Basically, it makes up for the lack not of- Not buying me things, taking care of me. The fact that you're putting in all this effort to make sure I'm okay is like, oh, okay, like he really does like me. Like I get that, I guess. That's, <laughs> I uh, guess. That's interesting though. Well, he you, knows like, what's in his head. Girls? Oh, I love him, Loki. Sorry, I noticed you have like a wedding band. Is that, yeah. did you forget to take that off before this? Or? Nah, it's just to remind myself that like I'm married to myself. Tell him you like open relationships. I ain't never heard some shit like that before. He wears a wedding band to remind himself that he is married to himself. I've never heard something like that before, dog. What the fuck? I ain't never heard that before at all. Relationship. Like if you found a girl wow. and you actually do really like her and you're like, oh, I want her to be my girlfriend. Honestly, nah, I'm not really a cuck, so. A cuck? Yeah. Do you know of like Adam 22 in his situation? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so would you say you're like dating to marry? Is that why it's like? I'd give a girl my last name, you know? I feel like that's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. I want to say cool. Elias is doing really good so far. I think he's going to be okay. In this segment, we're going to talk about you guys' class relationships. Um, well, I've only been in like one, we just weren't a match, but how about yourself? I was maybe like 22. It started off super cool, like he was a great guy. Then he slowly uh -huh. kind of like started dipping off, not really giving me like what I wanted anymore. Yeah, yeah. But then like he found out and he was like, but like oh, you cheated so you, on me. Oh, but it wasn't, it wasn't my fault. Like it wasn't. It wasn't your fault that you cheated? No. I don't know. 
And so, how did he find out that you cheated? But he went through my phone, and then mm. like, he's hearing all this. He's got to know. It was really sad, like on me. I mean, like he's, he's got to really say no. I mean, no. no I he's got to say saying, no. But, like, Please. Have you ever, um, like cheated on someone? I've never cheated on someone. But you say you're very like trusting of your partners. I would say I am, until they give me a reason not to. How do you feel about like OnlyFans? Like girls having OnlyFans? I personally don't don't really like. Care, yeah. I'll be your photographer. I'll help you, you know. And then what if like they would want to make it like with someone else? Then, nah, but they're like, like it's yeah. just very like, like. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Let me get you guys final thoughts. That's the end of the day. Okay, cool. Well, nice seeing you again. Yep. She's cool. She's uh, interesting. Come on, bro. Like you got enough. A lot, like a lot. Because <laughs> she was like, oh, I expect the guys to pay my bills, buy me mm -hmm. stuff. It's not really. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm looking for, you know? Everybody should Thank be paying you. their own bills. Like, that's just how it is. <laughs> I don't think there would be, like, a second date, though. Anything you're concerned about with her? Or? Well, you know, she cheated in the past, and there's that saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, big red flag. Once a cheater, you know? always a cheater. Elias is on his path to redeeming the boys. All he's got to do now is stick to his guns and officially reject this line. Elias and write yes on it. No way he's going to choose yes. Right, Elias, Please write no. Write yes or no if you can see yourself pursuing a relationship. Come on. Is she wife material? Okay. Come on. Oh no, this was not good. What are you doing? Thank you about it. I'm Ooh. debating, I'm debating. What the hell is there to think about, Elias? You just pointed out all the red flags. Don't let us down, Elias. No way. You're the only one that held it straight up and rolled. Everybody else hit it sideways. <laughs> It's not my usual type, but like, she's cool, she's cool. He talked like so much shit, and then it was like, but yeah. <laughs> she's, she's cute, you know, she's cute. All right, let's go. Maybe they don't, maybe they're not hearing or understanding the question. They said, is she wifey material? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. To ourselves? I get it. Nobody's perfect. We have loving and caring hearts, but we can't keep setting ourselves up to be cheated on. Lied exactly. To or used, no Why do you show Will Smith? You're better than that. Elias. <laughs> How could you? What? Despite all the moron. You said yes. I mean, look. <laughs> Who am I to say no to an opportunity, you know? <laughs> see? So the bit is basically, she's a walking red flag, and we're going to see, like, who's willing to put up with the more guys or girls. Oh, uh, I see. So everything she said was not real. It's not real. I've she's never cheated. Cheater. I'm not she's a gold not. digger. Okay, okay. I, mean, <laughs> I just wanted to see what you would put up with. Yeah. But, I mean, you could put up with a lot, I guess. Clearly, I've, I've seen way worse. Do you think that she'd change, or, like, why are you willing to, like, put up with it? I just believe in communication. It sounded like, the cheating could have been prevented by her boyfriend, but he just wasn't paying enough attention. So none of it was like really He's shocking. a bad reader. What would be a red flag? Like, what could I have said that you'd be like, ah, uh, nah, like no second date? Uh, I didn't think of not having a second date. I was just thinking like with the OnlyFans thing. Like, <laughs> so who would you say is more okay with red flags? He flag? just thought it, it see? So he just looked at her face or whatever, thought she looked good and was willing to give it a chance based off that. And they didn't care about no personality, bro. They just thought she looked good and wanted to be with Girls, girls are open more. That's it. Like. I think a girl would probably be like, oh, I really like you. Ladies, you're on the chopping block next week. Tune in to see how willing you All girls are to put up with the red flags. You don't want to miss it, and you don't want to forget to grab your Takis, because you guys already know. I can see the girls saying no, bro. All the boys this say yes, shit's dog. This gonna be good. They thought she looked good and wanted a chance if it was going to work or not, bro. They still just wanted to hit, dog. That's all there was to it. Seriously, that's all there was to it, bro. That's all there was to it.